Hey people of the interwebs, it's Q with another scuba diving adventure. We start the day with fried bacon and mushrooms because we're going to need all the energy we can to tackle a dive site called the Keyhole. It's showtime. All right, I'm a little bit late this morning. Uh, it's a Saturday morning and you can hear the tanks from yesterday's dive rolling around in the back of the car. They've all got to be filled. Uh, it's uh, six minutes to eight. Uh, just do a one dive today and um, we're going to try and dive a spot called the Keyhole. Uh, I haven't dived that for at least 12 months mainly because it's one of those dive sites where the weather conditions have got to be just right uh, for an easy entry and exit. So we're going to check that out uh, as a possible dive site this morning. If that's a no-go then of course as usual we'll check out some of the other dive sites and see what is a go diving it's uh, a roll of the dice what might be good yesterday might be not good today anyway here we are at the dive shop and uh, we'll see who's here and what's going on very shortly so just looking down from a headland onto a dive site called the keyhole it's called the keyhole because in between the uh, rocks here and the rocks just over there you can see a narrow stretch of sand uh, flows outwards um, and so that's our entry point and theoretically it's also our exit point however uh, if you miss that exit point on the way out um, things can get a bit difficult um, because as you can see uh, rocks on either side uh, so it makes it very difficult to find a place where you can just get the right depth of water to stand up and get your fins off and then walk out doesn't say anything about not scuba diving so we're going to take a look at the site first and uh, take it from there there's a bit because we're trying to drag the gear out so we've got a whole lot of room in the back of it yeah no. <laughs> Hey, we can dive in here in the creek. In the creek, yeah. There. I'm not sure you'll get the depth though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the viz looks good. <laughs> Through Grand Canyon. Yeah. It's going to be fun getting up there with your gear. There goes the knees already. <laughs> so basically, we'll just do like a surface swim out to the um, start at the end of the sandy bit there almost. And I'm not sure what the depth will get there, but we'll, we'll drop down and then just take a, a left. We decided to drop down early into just four meters of water. And then a quick check that all five divers were present and we headed out into deeper water in search of adventure. Now, somewhere in the middle of the night, the fairies and elves that live in the garden must have been messing around with my equipment because you can hear a steady stream of bubbles, just small bubbles, coming out of my uh, Oki regulator. And also, at some point when I looked down to my computer, I noticed that the display wasn't displaying all the usual information that it does. It was telling me the depth and the dive time, which is sufficient, but I wanted to see everything else. So I spent the next couple of minutes playing with the buttons, trying to get it back to its normal mode. This little goatfish, obviously attracted by the beeping and wondering what the heck is going on, came in to see what was happening. This is the first time diving the keyhole for at least one of these divers and the first time in a long time for most of us. So I think everyone was happy to be back diving a spot that's usually quite good visibility and you never know what you're going to find.
We did find a lot of sea stars on this particular dive. This guy is having a snooze and using a soft coral as a blankie. The minute you stop still, the goatfish are coming in to take a look, see what's happening. The diver with the big still camera there, I was interested in what he was taking shots of, so I came over to have a look with my camera, but again, it just couldn't focus. What we're actually looking at there is a nudibrach, and a very colourful one indeed, so I've just inserted a still shot of the little creature. Fantastic colours. I did encounter a lot of these sea stars on this particular dive. A lot of them also seem to be in an upright position. I don't know why, maybe it was just the current or the conditions that had made them all decide that that was the best way to hang for the day. Now here, just sticking out, is the snout of an ambush predator. This is the snout of a wobbegong shark. It's only a small one, so my guess is that if we saw the whole of his body, he wouldn't be any more than maybe a meter long. Then we spotted this little turtle. He was trying to have a snooze underneath this little rock ledge. He looks as though he's pretty grumpy at being disturbed by us sticking cameras into his face. You can see size-wise, uh, with the hand comparison there, how small he really is. Just time for one more smile at the camera. Getting his mug shot taken. And then we were off to see what else we could find. We're coming near to the end of the dive. And the dive lead asked Lee how much air he'd got. And dive lead then indicated to me that Lee was on 70 bar, which means he's technically low on air, and told me to stick by the side of Lee for the rest of the dive in case Lee needed to share my air, because I'm the person who uses the least amount of air. Dive lead went to the surface to look for the exit point. While he was doing that, I decided to just check my situation. We were at four meters. We'd been in the water for 45 minutes. I had 120 bar left, so I was quite confident that if I did need to share air, that would be okay. Dive lead came down and indicated the direction of the exit point to me. Also indicated it was a reasonably far distance away and also indicated that we needed to swing around instead of heading directly for it because we had to avoid the, the waves breaking over the rocks. Water temperature on this dive was 23 degrees, that's 73.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Our maximum depth was 7.6 meters, which is 25 feet, and the total dive time was 51 minutes. At this point, I figured we'd miss the exit point, and I indicated to Lee, who was by my side, that we should surface and take a look, see exactly where we were. And as I guessed, we had missed the exit point, so I decided to stay on the surface with Lee and we would surface swim back to the exit point. Hope you enjoyed today's dive adventure. Please leave any questions and comments below. And of course, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my diving adventures. So my computer says it was only 23 degrees in there today. 
winter is coming. Thank you.